It's been a much more stable period. It makes it sound a bit uninteresting, but it's not uninteresting to suddenly be able to do all of these things again without even thinking about it. A couple of months ago, I went down to London for the day to have lunch with some people that I used to work with in the 1980s. Walked in and it was like the hearing loss person's nightmare. It was this huge room with hard surfaces everywhere and it was packed. And I had a, can I do this moment? And it was really, really noisy. And then actually, I can. I think my brain starts doing what hearing people's brains do and they start to zone out the background noise so that I can, I can hear. So yeah, sometimes I still think, gosh, can I do this? But nearly always I can. And one of the best things about it is that I forget that I'm wearing it. I never think about it at all. It's just completely liberating and feels feels completely natural, completely natural. University of the Third Age is a great thing. It's an organisation where retired people put on activities and groups and classes. And I had this idea that I would really like to run a class on the history of council housing because I worked in housing management for all of my career and it was something that I find fascinating and which I know a lot about. I first had that idea, I suppose, about three years ago. And then, you know, I had this thing and my hearing just went over the edge. There was another pronounced dip and I just couldn't conceive of actually being able to run the class. And then I got the implant and ran the class and I just loved it. It was such fun. It was wonderful that if people asked me questions, I could hear what they were saying. And it was wonderful that in the coffee break and we were out on a visit, people could talk to me and I could understand them. But what was also wonderful was that I just, again, felt completely comfortable running that sort of group. It was losing the confidence to do it totally and then regaining the confidence to do it, which was so dramatic. And I just, I just loved that. It's one of the most life-affirming things that I've done post-implant because it just seemed to symbolise the fact that, that here is something that I just completely lost the ability to do and then I can do it. I can do it quite confidently. Well, I've had a great time, met lovely people. I found it very difficult to remember how things had been. I just got used to her being able to hear things the whole time, being able to talk to her and then knowing that she would hear, that you, you forget how it was and you just sort of, well, you know, you accept it this in a way. This is, this is it, this is how it is and it's great. And you yeah. just carry on and live your life like everyone else is doing really, which is a wonderful thing. I've been ringing my friends, I've been ringing the hospital. So yesterday, I rang a friend in London and we chatted for half an hour and she said, this is just like speaking to anybody else, Vera, you're just, you know, this is great. It's just perfectly normal. And I could hear her very clearly. I think the real nub of it though, comes when there are things that you can only do by phone yeah. and you, you'd had to ask me to do them. Yeah. And I think that's the really important change. If you can do those instead of not being dependent on me, that's a really positive thing, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. The other day I lost my keys, out my car keys, out on a walk with the dog. There I am in the wilds of Yorkshire, miles from anywhere. What do you do? You ring your husband, I've lost my car keys. But just that automatic picking up the phone and speaking is now feeling quite normal. So I'm going to keep on practising doing all of those things and I'm sure I can find. I'll be fine. The fact that you feel more confident about things means you've got you've got much more energy to do things. You're getting involved in different things, yeah. and therefore you're leading you're leading much fuller life as a result. Of that, which yeah. is how it should be. That's certainly true. That's certainly true. Just all came flooding back, didn't it? It did. It did. You've actually got back who you are.